been a lot of news coming out recently, guys. It seems like every second there's something new happening, right? From Jim Cramer, the manipulation, uh, the manipulation hire of crypto shows you that this is truly a sham market. What do we believe, guys? My only question to him is he keeps stacking cryptocurrencies, right? But why is he? Why why isn't he talking about the banking system itself? If cryptocurrency, if if there's if there is a lot of manipulation taking place and the crypto market is supposedly rigged, which it, of course it is, guys, right? But if it's this bad with crypto, how bad is it with the banking system, right? The fiat system, guys. Yeah, it's it's something that's unimaginable, guys. The same thing with what the stock market, right? It's, it's all propped up at the end. Agree, there's a lot of manipulation in crypto, but it's laughable that you never once co uh, commented on the insane amount of Fed manipulation in the assets you directly benefited from the from over the last 15 plus years, guys. Exactly, right? Look at the money printer just going, brr, right? I don't get it, guys. And this is how we know we are invested into the right assets. Now, make no mistake, guys. The cryptocurrency market is definitely rigged, right? This is why we see XRP being at a very low price in compared to the value it brings, right? But there's two sides to the story of uh, manipulating a market. The bad side is they could do whatever they want with the asset. The good side is if they want the asset to pump, then they'll make it pump, right? So it's quite simple. And one day, I believe they will make, make XRP pump. Sounds like a familiar story. Gemini reportedly works with the SEC for 17 months, guys. Wow. Seems very... You guys remember a similar story? And the SEC slams them with a surprise lawsuit. What happened with um, Ripple, guys, right? Wasn't Brad Garlinghouse, the Ripple team and whatnot, were talking with the SEC for a long time, meeting with the SEC every weekend or two, if I'm not mistaken, guys. And then the SEC comes out and sues Ripple, right? If Gary Gensler was serious about helping investors, he would stop regulation by selective enforcement. Hmm. Absolutely insane. Fire Gary Gensler. Do we see how Gary is on is in the spotlight right now, guys? Right? A lot of people are attacking Gary Gensler this year. Think about why. Now, it connects to this tweet. The more I delve into the Sam Bankman Freed implosion and hear how he met with the SEC not once but twice, it's hard to not realize that the SEC really botched its regulatory agenda going after Ripple over unregistered XRP when serious issues of potential fraud always resided with exchanges. Wow. Right, this is beautiful, folks. Again, think about this. I can't believe it, though. I just can't believe it. There are so many... <laughs> they go after the only company or asset that what? That's really legit in this entire crypto space, right? Every other thing seems like it's all BS, guys, right? All corrupted, but they but they go after the legit one out of every other corrupted company or asset. I agree, as you guys can see from Bob Way, going after Ripple in a way that provides zero benefit to anyone and per, uh, preventing clarity to ignoring FTX entirely. Do you think this was accidental? Hmm. Remember, there are no coincidences, right? The DOJ, the Department of Justice, is preparing criminal ind indictments against Binance. There we go, checkmark. Nexo was raided by 300 police officers this morning, checkmark. Gemini and Genesis were sued by the SEC a few minutes ago, checkmark. Metropolitan Bank pulled support for Crypto.com this week, checkmark. And people are still celebrating a pump for ants. So, all these things are happening, guys, right? Do we believe that we have more downside. And here's another thing that's inbound, possibly. Updates, Genesis Trading prepares Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing, expecting an, an announcement no later than early next week, right? A lot of what bankruptcy's taking place, guys. Why? Because it's all built on a house of cards, right? This entire crypto space is... Now, imagine when the debt implodes, guys, when the when the financial system implodes that would mean the stock market the, the stock market is going to tumble because it's definitely propped up guys the federal reserve has, has been buying every asset known to mankind right to prop everything up meaning we have to go up and up and up and up i still believe we have more upside right for the next one to two years than 
the actual implosion is or will take place, right? Listen to this, guys. And, and you thought you were safe. Breaking news. Binance named as counterparty in an order against crypto exchange. Bitslato accused of laundering $700 million by U.S. authorities. You don't say, right? Attached, attached Bit, uh, Binance name with this right here. Hmm. Binance named as counterparty in FinCEN order, guys. Wow, against this exchange that ha that is accused of laundering $700 million by U.S. authorities. Again, everything's built up, guys, right? Everything's corrupted. But remember, the SEC went after Ripple, right? None of these other exchanges, nothing. Nothing makes sense, guys. The SEC sued Elon Musk. And look where, and look where, um, or Tesla was it? And look where Tesla is today, right? Let's think about it, folks. Not financial advice, obviously, but Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange by trading volume, was named as one of the receiving and sending counterparties associated with that exchange. Wow. I do believe Binance will have to go away, guys, at one point in time, and I believe it's going to happen during the collapse, not now, right? These are the narratives that are being built, and, 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 and basically, they are signaling the imminent collapse, guys, right? That's what subliminal messaging. It does say down here though that Binance is pleased to have provided substantial assistance to international law, basically enforcement partners in support of this investigation. And remember this as well, that now no exchange is safe guys, no coins are safe, nothing is safe because this is a crackdown of the entire crypto industry, right? This is where regulations are about to come into place. Let's prepare. I also heard about from General Counsel at Ripple. I also heard about Bitslato for the first time today. But despite the funny memes, the Department of Justice actions makes action makes clear that they will prosecute those who exploit the crypto ecosystem to commit crypto crimes. That's good policy. But wait a moment. Ex except if it's BlockFi, if it is BlockFi, FTX, Celsius, or the people who were getting money funneled. To them through those exchanges in the political arena mm, right exactly so it seems to me that the sec and these other agencies will only go after a certain company or asset if it will benefit them right or obviously they're playing their role so to speak now besides all of that listen to this many studied about amazon and the flywheel concept and virtuous uh, cycle can be found Ripple introduced their flywheel concept and progress back in 2019 and 2020, right? The same thing about what? Interesting. Amazon connection with Ripple, right? Amazon is a household name. Everyone knows about Amazon. Will one day people know about Ripple and or XRP or will be more behind the scenes, right? If half of the Ripple, uh, Ripple net clients are using on-demand liquidity, I would say that wheel is spinning pretty fast. Wow. If that's the case, guys. We're getting, it's like, it's like what, um, compounding, right? An accumulation. As soon as one company incorporates uh, ODL or uses ODL, guys, another one will, right? And it keeps funneling. It keeps going faster and faster and faster, as you guys can see in this cycle right here, which is fascinating to think about, right? Reason being is because Quote, we are building outside of the United States very rapidly given the opportunities, opportunities we see. End quote. Listen to this, guys, from Ripple. We're building outside the U.S. very rapidly uh, given the opportunities we see. But we're not going to go kind of off-piste and try to uh, chase shiny things this year. There's no room or time for that with this kind of environment. In terms of, you mentioned CBDCs is on your radar. In what regard, uh, how are you helping out with that? Absolutely. We have an interesting approach. We're trying to, we realize we're not going to solve that problem for every single central bank around the world. We're very targeted. Uh, we found great interest in some of the smaller uh, central banks around the world that are looking for a strategy, looking for a partner, looking for a technology, a side blockchain.
blockchain um, ideas about how to go about this. So we had our first MOU signed with the Kingdom of Bhutan in my neck of the woods back in Asia. Palau is an example, but we're in conversations with dozens of central banks around the world trying to figure out the best way to help them across this goal. They want to use XRP or Ripple Labs or to develop it? They want to use technologies that will help them help their own citizens. And so we don't believe there's any one solution for all these central banks uh, in this technology across the world. There's places we can play. There may be a side chain to the XRP ledger. Uh, we may help in the interoperability across this. Um, but it's going to be different in every single central bank. Either, either way, guys, is that we are not going to try to chase chase shiny things this year, right? And 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 this is what accelerating the central bank digital currency narrative as well at play, which means that we we are invested into the right asset, guys. Right, XRP. Obviously not financial advice, but remember what Brian Garlinghouse has states that we will be on the right side of history. Does he mean with the SEC, right? The Ripple um, lawsuit. In my opinion, it, it, it combines all together. The Ripple lawsuit, it combines it all together. Ripple lawsuit and obviously the the plans that Ripple have moving forward in order for them becoming what the heart of the new financial system, right? This is fascinating. Notice how he tries to downplay it for the people who are dumb enough to believe it. Yeah, only, yeah, we have only a few uh, central banks, only a dozen. How how do you have a few when the World Bank is calling XRP and XLM global stable coins, right? And Brad said they have hundreds of central banks. Remember what we talked about before, guys. It's literally all about what? It's literally all about um central banks. That's all. We're building up. If if you're partnering with the central banks, it's game over. You win, right? Because the central banks aren't going anywhere, guys. They love their power, right? Not financial advice. But anyways, that's all for guys. Amazing day, See ya.